in this video the topic is escape velocity you will find this topic in the chapter of newton's law of gravitation in that chapter you will find this term escape velocity <laughs> escape velocity of an object is the minimum speed the body must have in order to escape from the gravitational field of a massive object it is the minimum speed okay once a body attains this minimum speed or the escape velocity it will never come back to that massive object for our planet earth this escape velocity is 11.186 km per second 11.186 km per second or in terms of km per hour it is 40000 40270 270 40270 km per hour 40270 km per hour <coughs> if anybody <coughs> attains this speed away from the surface of the earth then that body will not ever come back to the surface of the earth again it will continuously move away from the surface of the earth the value of escape velocity is different for different planets it depends on that it depends on the mass of the massive object we know that jupiter the planet jupiter in our solar system that is very very bigger than our planet earth <clears throat> so escape velocity for that planet will be much higher then this value this value means what which one 11.186 km per hour you will get one formula in that chapter that escape velocity is equal to root over of 2 gm by r 2 root over of 2 capital g which is universal gravitational constant into m m is the mass of the massive object and divided by r r is the distance from the center of the massive object up to that body which need be thrown or which need be given that escape velocity here in the derivation of this formula it was assumed that the body is spherical for a spherical mass this formula is valid root over of 2 gm by r of course we know that our planet earth is surrounded by air so whenever a body moves through air there is some friction due to the presence of air which is also called air drag or aerodynamic drag that force of resistance that resistance force was not taken into account during the, the derivation of this formula you will get just a rough idea by using this formula one more thing after giving the escape velocity to that body the velocity of the body goes on decreasing with time but it will never be zero it will approach zero velocity asymptotically and if 
the velocity which is given initially to that body is more than the value of the escape velocity then the body will have always a positive velocity suppose the velocity which is given to the body is denoted by capital v and the escape velocity for that planet say for our earth is v suffix small e e for earth or no sorry e for escape velocity v suffix e then ultimately the body will have a velocity if it is denoted by v suffix infinity infinity sign is used because when it reaches to infinity what velocity it will have so v infinity square v infinity square is equal to capital v square minus v suffix e square this velocity the body will have after reaching to infinity okay we know that rockets are propelled in order to go somewhere it may be moon it may be mars it may be space station the rockets may be propelled to put a satellite in the orbit so in those cases for the in those cases means what for rockets escape velocity is not required because in rocket in rockets propellants are given propellant means fuel with which the rocket is driven propellant so continuously thrust is produced to overcome the pull of the gravitational attraction of earth okay so escape velocity is not required in that case for rockets escape velocity is required for ballistic objects means once you are giving that velocity no other energy will be supplied to that body so that velocity is escape velocity okay so escape velocity is different for different planets it depends on the mass of the massive object so this was the idea of escape velocity we will find this in the chapter of gravity or newton's law of gravitation there you will find there you will get the derivation i'll show you in later videos the derivations also uh, this video i want to finish this video right now because uh, i have now no arrangement to show you mathematically right now okay so that's why i am finishing this video here okay thank you